Now, when we make a query to our Postgres database, we can also specify how we want to order the results. Now, by default, it looks like it's just going based off of uh, the ID, but it's not necessarily going to be like that. And so it's better to actually tell Postgres how you want to order the products. So in this case, I've got no filter criteria. I'm just returning everything. And let's say I want to filter or order the, um, the products that are returned based off of price. So if I say order by, I can then specify the price column. So let's see what happens when I run this. All right, we can see that it looks like it starts at the lowest price and then works its way up. So by default, when you specify the order by um, keyword and then specify the column, it does it in an ascending order. Uh, and so you could specify the order at which you want to go, uh, the direction, I guess, by saying ASC. So this means ascending. So this shouldn't change anything because Postgres by default is going to always do it um, in an ascending order. So if I run this, nothing changes. However, if I want to do this in a descending order, I can say DESC for descending. So now it's going to start at the most expensive price and then work its way down. Now let's change this and let's say we want to order by inventory and I want to see which products we have the most of. So I'll say inventory and then descending because we want to start at the highest value and work our way down. So I'll run this and then we can see it starts at the highest one and then works its way down. But we've got a whole bunch of zeros. Uh, and let's say that between these guys, I also want to uh, specify a tiebreaker of some kind. We can also uh, specify the order uh, using a second column for these tiebreakers. So I can pass in another column. And so let's say that anytime there's a tie, I wanted to then order it by, uh, let's say price. So I'll say price. And then we'll say uh, the cheapest price. Uh, so ascending. Now ascending is always the default, so we can just delete that keyword. And so let's run this now. And I forgot to put a comma. So after each uh, column that you want to sort by, you have to do a comma. And so now we got all of our data. And so let's take a look and see if this actually works. So we can see we're sorting based off of inventory. Then we get down to zeros. So these are all tied. So we take a look at the second column that we pass. In this case, we're looking at the cheapest price. And so if we see the first one, it looks like the cheapest price is two. Then it goes up to four, 10, 30, 40, 50, 80, 100, 200. And you can pass in as many columns as you want uh, for your uh, sorting criteria. You don't have to just stick with two. And it's really just a matter of doing a comma and then passing in the next column and then whatever the criteria is. And you'll see that one of the common things to do is let's say we want to get um, the most recent products. Well, I think it makes sense to just sort based off created. So that's the timestamp for when the product was created. So let's see what was the most recent products that were put into our database. We can just say created underscore at. And what order do you think we need? Do we need ascending or descending? If you don't know, think about it. And if you still don't know, test it out. That's the easiest way to find out. So we can see that the first one is, remember, this is always going to default to ascending. So when it's ascending, we can see that there's a one at 820. It was created at 820. And then the bottom ones are created at 821. So it looks like this starts off with the oldest one and then works its way up to the most recent one because that has a later date. You can think of the later date as a higher value. So if we want the, you know, the most recent products first, we would do descending. And so now we've got the most recent products. And with this order, uh, with the sorting property, remember, we can just chain this on to any SQL statement. So if I also wanted to, uh, you know, uh, get all of the products that have uh, a price of greater than 20 and then sort it by something, I can just specify my where keyword and say where price is greater than 20. And then for all of those results, I want to order by uh, who was most recently created. So we'll search that. And so there you go. And so that's the great part about SQL is you'll just keep chaining these different SQL keywords to uh, filter out the exact data in the exact order that you want.